Good morning, children. I am Miss Kavya. I am Miss Uma Sindhu. Let's recall what we learnt in the previous video. Now, children, let us see some pictures of living and non-living. Choose the correct picture and say it aloud. Which among these grow? Yes, you are right. It's cat. Which among these will drink water? That's right. It's crow. Which among these will eat food? That's the right answer. It's dog. Well done. Hope you all were able to answer. Now, we have a riddle for you. I am green in color and I grow. There is no life without me on this earth. Guess who am I? Hooray! That's right. It's a plant. Hey, are plants living things? Yes, they are. What makes you say plants are living? Come, I'll tell you a story. There were two friends, Chintu and Mintu. Both had potted plants. Chintu was not watering his plant at all. Whereas Mintu was taking good care of it by watering it every day with loads of love. After few days, they could see that Mintu's plant had grown very well. It was green and fresh, but Chintu's plant was dry and dull. Chintu asked Mintu why his plant had not grown like his. Then Mintu helped Chintu by telling him that plants need water to grow since they have a life. Chintu started watering his plant every day and found his plant growing healthy and happy. Since plants need water and they also grow, they are called living things. Uma Sindhu, do they breed like us? Yes, they do. Children, plants are just like humans. They have different parts for different functions. Come, let's see what those different parts are. Wow, we are in the school garden. There are so many plants all around us. Mm, it feels so pleasant to be in the garden. Ah, there is my favorite plant. It is balsam plant. The balsam plant is my favorite. Let us see the different parts of this balsam plant. Observe carefully. There are two main parts in plants. They are shoot and root. The part that grows above the ground is called as shoot. The part that grows below the ground is called as root. Come, let's see how a root looks like. This is the root. Do you know how important a root is for a plant? Root is the only way for the water to enter the plant. So, when you water, you need not pour it to the leaves. Pour it directly to the ground so that the roots can absorb it easily. This is the stem. Do you know what the stem does for a plant? Stem supports the plant. It holds the leaves, buds, flowers and fruits. Now, look at the plant carefully and try to tell me which part of the plant is known as kitchen of the plant. Hooray! That's leaves. Leaves prepare food for the plant. So, they are known as kitchen of the plant. Look at these flowers, they are so colourful. Fruits grow from the flowers. Wow! So many parts in a single plant. Why don't you try to identify the parts of plants in your house? Shall we do that through an activity? Yes. Now, Bhagya ma'am will help you to draw a plant. Children, before that, let's plant this. Let's begin. 
Draw a line and name it as ground. Now draw the roots. Above this, draw the stem. Draw some leaves, flowers and fruits. Color the plant. Write the name of your plant and label the parts. Do you know, plants can also feel happy and sad like us. When we take good care of them, they grow very well. And when we do not take good care of them, they die. I have heard a legend about a famous singer called Tansen. It is said that when he used to sing, flowers were blooming. Yes, Uma, even I have heard about that. Recently, I read in a newspaper that if we play music near the plants, they grow very well. Isn't it amazing? Let us all grow plants and take care of them. You can also plan to have a plant pet. See you soon. Bye-bye.